Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelor Nation Today update channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. With their NYE smooch, Susie Evans and Justin Glaze make it official? Supporters of Bachelor Nation have been hoping for Susie Evans and Justin Glaze's friendship to develop into more. Did Susie and Justin's kiss on New Year's Eve finally put an end to suspicions about their relationship? Continue reading to view the sultry pictures. Susie Evans conceals her real love. Susie Evans and Justin Glaze watched another NFL football game together a few hours before the new year began. Earlier in the season, they had gone to an LA Chargers vs. Ravens game. The former members of Bachelor Nation attended the Miami Dolphins vs. Baltimore Ravens game on December 31st. Susie shared a small secret on her Instagram story while sporting Ravens attire. The inscription on the video read, For everyone concerned about my family's mental health seeing me in Ravens gear today. As Susie lowers her sweatshirt to reveal her true love, the camera pans. Beneath her sweater is a Miami Dolphins jersey that she is hiding, regretfully for Susie, the Ravens emerged victorious 56-19, guaranteeing a postseason berth and a potential trip to Super Bowl 58. Justin and Susie Glaze, how about a steamy NYE kiss? Susie presumably didn't find much comfort in Justin after the loss, given their tendency to make fun of each other. Later that evening, though, at the New Year's Eve celebration, they were both quite happy. A video of Susie and Justin kissing was captured by the camera and went viral on Reddit. Were they playing up the are they or aren't they dilemma, or were they just oblivious of the camera? They briefly lock lips before the camera pans away. Redditors discuss their opinions on Susie and Justin's relationship in the comments section. Many acknowledge that they have been together for some time, but they won't say so. Well, that's nothing new. They've probably been dating for a long. The denial is beyond me. I concur. I suppose I might respect their desire to enjoy it by themselves, but they upload everything, hee <laughs> hee. It's cute, but why are they still refusing to get together? It's peculiar. These days, they kind of make me sick. All right, homegirl has fallen in love. Why do they not disclose their relationship to others? Why is it the case? Why you would continue to deny it is beyond me. The former members of Bachelor Nation have already declared that they don't want to break their friendship by dating. But as the camera pans away, a keen-eyed Redditor saw that Justin and Susie are kissing in the shadow that is captured, Tennessee move date revealed by Braden Bowers. Braden Bowers, a former cast member of Bachelor in Paradise, has fallen in love and is moving forward. He declared that in order to be with fellow Bachelor alum Christina Mandrell, he is relocating from San Diego to Nashville, Tennessee. Fans anticipated it would come soon, and he is now preparing for it to happen. Continue reading to learn more. When is Braden Bowers moving to Tennessee? Alumni of BIP fans are getting some exciting news from Braden Bowers. In his major announcement, he's reflecting back on a happy memory while also making some new ones. Sharing the news on Instagram, he went. He recently disclosed that he is relocating to Tennessee and that he has had his nursing license transferred. Braden revealed that he will be moving in with Christina and her daughter rather than even obtaining his own place. He posted two images to social media that show the timing of his maneuver. One was a photo of him from when he was 19 years old, showing him in his first car. He sold it to buy a white pickup truck now. He's eager to move to Tennessee and be with his girlfriend. Life changes fast, was Braden's caption for the picture. See me when I was 19 and purchased my first car by sliding back in time. That automobile was such a blessing, and I'm happy I was able to trade it in for this bad boy. Tennessee is the next stop. Hashtag truck hashtag hello is mobitic hashtag new truck goofin hashtag in country now hashtag gotta jet miko boyhado hashtag january 5th hashtag chevy colorado trail but it appears like in a few short days, Braden Bowers will be abandoning his life in California. He's eager to start his new life with Christina. As stated previously, Braden thinks Christina is the one. She's expressed the same thing about him as well. The big day is going to be January 5th, according to his message. Together, these two seem to be the ideal combination. 
viewers are enthralled with the way their love tale develops. Soon after the Bachelor in Paradise finale aired, Brayden and Christina made their romance public. They fell in love with one other right away and had huge hopes for the future. She had previously defended him after some trolls made fun of his shaven mustache last week. She responded that she adored his earrings when someone said he should part with them. Supporters hope that these two are genuine and can pull it off. How do you feel about Brayden having moved to Nashville already? After a pretty calm season, the ending proved to be filled with the drama that fans of The Bachelor know and love. While Zach caused some controversy after announcing he wasn't going to sleep with any of the women during Fantasy Suite Week, he did end up sleeping with Gabby, then going ahead and telling Katie about it. He shared, in that moment, I told her, I was like, okay, yes, this can be a secret. And then the guilt ate at me. So he ended up going to Katie and telling her what happened. With The Bachelor season 27 coming to a close and Zach proposing to Katie, there seemed to be positive reactions with the outcome. It appears that Zach and Katie are still together as of now and that, despite all the controversy that took place towards the end of the season, the two are very happy and in love. This is the outcome that is hoped for when watching The Bachelor, and while it doesn't always work out long-term, it is still good to see a season that has a happy ending. Contestant Charity Lawson from The Bachelor Season 27 has been announced as the next Bachelorette star, and it'll be exciting to see what happens next. She will be the lead of The Bachelorette Season 20 after being eliminated by Zach following her hometown date. Charity had a positive reception, so it was disappointing when Zach sent her home. It will be good to see her have a chance at love, and hopefully, she ends up successful in the same way that Zach did with Katie. Bachelor in Paradise alum John Henry Spurlock has no hard feelings after calling off his engagement to Kat Izzo. Thanks again for all the kind words, John Henry, 31, shared in an Instagram caption on Tuesday, December 12th. And for those who have nothing nice to say based on what was shown on an edited reality dating show, just know I don't feel that I made a mistake choosing her. I never watched this back and second guess things, I fell for the real cat Izzo. The cat, who always put my feelings first and did everything she could to make this work, he continued. The cat that a lot, sick, of people truly know. But unfortunately, the cat that Bachelor Nation doesn't know. Although we decided to go different paths, you are an amazing woman and someone will be very lucky to have you. Keep being you, keep accomplishing all your goals, and enjoy this next chapter in your life in San Diego, working as a nurse practitioner. With mutual love and respect, Kat and I have recently decided to part ways. Our relationship has been filled with wonderful memories and growth, something we looked forward to sharing with you. While our paths are taking different directions due to our career goals not aligning, we are grateful for the love and support we've received from our family, friends, and Bachelor Nation, read a joint statement shared via Instagram on Monday, December 11th. While this decision wasn't easy, we believe it's the right step for both of us as individuals. As we navigate this transition, we ask for your continued support and respect for our privacy.